So over in Naked Fin, we do just purely seafood, um, no, no other kind of meat because uh, it's, uh, it's just what has been beginning since we're open for I think about nine years. Um, so we've been um, playing around with a lot of seafood uh, just recently, I think I've been around for maybe like a year um, that we've appointed me as the head of the R&D. So we've been, we've been trying to change a little bit more in the direction towards something which is um, closer to my style, so to speak. Um, in the very beginning, when Nicotine just opened, it was pretty much just about um, very simple cooked food, uh, very nice cooked seafood, um, just probably like salt on the side, very little seasoning, just to let the produce shine. Um, but with me around, um, I like to play a bit more with um, local flavors, a bit more on like fermentation, um, like pickles, misos, preservation techniques, just to bring out uh, a little bit more flavor. Like we have a dry edge at the back, um, so but we also do like wet aging, like how we how we learn from like sushi restaurants. Um, so we try to age some of the fish uh, just to bring out a little bit more flavors. Um, but obviously, not everything is aged or dry aged. If some if certain things are like better fresh, then obviously like it's it's something that we would just um, do it simply. A lot of the dishes here have uh, like pickles, preservations, fermentations. And um, so currently we have like one of the dishes on the menu um, that we're using kanpachi. It's a very nice uh, winter fish which is in season right now. Um, we actually cured it with like salt and sugar and uh, we air dry it for a few days and it, when we slice it real thin, it kind of tastes like, like lado with uh, like pork. And um, yeah, but it's a very nice pleasant kind of fish, oily fish flavor. So yeah, it's one of the things that we kind of like to do here. Um, something a little bit familiar but at the same time obviously like we try to flip the script a little bit and just like do a bit more different things. Because we have um, all the seafood, we have our very good quality, uh, we get direct from suppliers, small fishermen, um, so that we can control the quality a little bit better. Um, but with, uh, yeah, I would say that we have one of the best suppliers, uh, they all, and it's the suppliers, the Japanese suppliers that we have, um, they're all very close to us. So. It, we can literally like message them every time and then they reply us really fast. So that's something that uh, I'm very lucky to have. Yeah. When I'm, when I'm working with a dish, I know like my limitations and then I know then from there it's kind of easier for me to work around if I have like a little bit of like parameters. So with suppliers and with fishermen, I think it's also very good to actually understand the limitations that they have or rather um, what I can do to help them uh, in terms of like um, is it better is it like for them I need to know whether it's easier if let's say if I order a fish is it better if they got it because most of the time I like my fish with the guts in but sometimes they're saying that oh it's hard to deliver like with the guts and uh, I don't no, I'm not, I'm, I don't really like it if they come without the guts but if it'd be, it'd be good because they're all most of the time like the Japanese so I don't really it's most of the time we're using like Google Translate from what they're sending and obviously it doesn't it, they, they it doesn't translate that well we can't really interpret like what they really are like trying to trying to convey to us so it'd be good to actually come down talk to the farmers talk to the suppliers let us know like what their limitations are or rather what's the best way to transport or to get certain things and yeah it'd be good especially like in Japan, there's so many like micro seasons, so it'd be good to know like certain things one when, when they run out because like sometimes I order like really really good produce and I put them on for like maybe a few weeks and it's oh it's really good uh, can I get it uh, can I get like ten kilos for next week then they go like ah the season's over and then ah then like it's a bit I mean it's annoying but on on my end I sh there should have been uh, I think I should have uh, communicated better I would say and obviously like meeting the suppliers it really does like help with this kind of communication and in terms of like menu plan it does uh, obviously you you help on my end and moving on moving forwards it does translate better to like 
for the guests they get like a uh, more dynamic like menu changes because I, I I know when the when the vegetables are coming and like and like to be able to stay ahead of like the curve that's like benefit everyone in like every way yeah.